Hey guys, it's me Sophia and today another video for you guys. Today's video will be on the Kanban board feature in Rome. I'll be showing you guys how to use this feature using two of my favorite examples. So let's get into it. So the first example that I'm going to use is on how we assigned our Rome YouTube videos in between um, us. So me and my siblings. So to make a Kanban, you have to go slash Kanban. There. Then you're just going to nest under, and we're going to be making four columns. So the first one is going to be what tasks we assign to our to my sister. Second is going to be me. And third, my little brother. Like that. So here we have our topics. So I'm going to copy block ref these, and then put them under Maya, Sophia, or Corbin. So, to do's, I put them under my page reference um, formatting, put them under Corbin, and so on. Now that I've assigned all of these um, YouTube video topics, I can move them around into this if I change my mind. So for example, it turned out to be uh, Maya did the intro, um, themes, I did formatting and adding to, add to docs. So I could just move them around and see um, how I like it most. Now I'm just gonna explain to you guys a bit how this works just so that you understand clearly and that you can do it yourself. So practically we have um, columns, right? And um, so you have, three columns, and then under those, you have um, the things that you want to write inside. And then you can move them around, and they're going to automatically move around into another column if you have another one. And you guys can see it's it's it really kind of looks the same as on the Kanban board, um, so I hope you guys get it. If not, you can comment down below, and I'll try to explain better. I also wanted to show you that if... For example, you change themes to themes one. It's going to change here and here as well because you use block references. So I definitely recommend to use block references just like here. So now moving on to our second example, um, I'm going to do the same trick, go slash Kanban. That. Then I'm going to create my columns. So first we're going to write daily, which means that I'm going to practice my Hungarian words daily, um, weekly monthly, yearly. That's going to be our four categories. Then I'm going to block reference all of these into daily. Once I feel capable of being able to know them without practicing daily, I can move them into weekly, right? And then I can move them into monthly and then into yearly. So this is really nice because you can move these around and this is actually the most useful I found the Kanban board so far because um, if you don't feel capable of practicing weekly, you go back to daily and then after daily, you go back to weekly and all of that. You could also add page references in here so that you get a sort of notification every day, but that would be too too much. So you could just add that for yearly so that you don't forget or monthly. You can even change this every three days, every two days, like that. And it could be like that. So you guys decide, but this is, I found this very useful for learning any language or doing things like this. This is very useful. Even for practicing for a history test, um, a geography, whatever test you have at school. And you know that it's going to come in, a, in about like two weeks or a month. Uh, or a final year test, you could practice every daily, every two days, monthly, weekly, however you want. And then at the end, you're going to probably know. So that was it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications when we post new videos. Also, if you have any questions, comment down below. And any requests for Rome feature tutorials that we haven't done already on this YouTube channel, comment down below, and we promise we'll try our best to make a video out of it.